Okay, so uh, what are dreams? Uh, well, uh, there is some people take dreams very seriously and they think dreams are, are an indication of f your future or dreams are some omens, uh, signs which will help you to, to actually chart, chart your uh, path on your life. Some people take dreams very seriously. There is even a scripture which analyzes dreams and and according to that analysis of dreams they can exactly tell what is going to happen in your life or what you are exactly thinking and uh, so so is it true or not in in one at one uh, level that's true by the way because there's a whole science in scriptures which can analyze your dreams uh, you repeatedly see in scriptures many people getting dreams and then they are getting advices from many rishis uh, that if you get this dream, this is going to happen. If you get this dream, this is going to happen. So there's a whole science of dreams there. But as a matter of fact, those ho that whole science is lost. No, it's not there. It's, it's no more there. Uh, so what are dreams? Should we take it seriously? Well, for all practical purposes, dreams should never be taken much seriously until unless, until unless you find some uh, some spiritual dreams where you get your spiritual master repeatedly saying something and that too you have to get it confirmed from somebody otherwise dreams are more or less mental speculation what happens in dreams what are dreams by the way you might ask uh, in dreams we sleep we sleep and we get dreams isn't it uh, but what happens in dreams is we see many things and we are actually cut off from reality we forget a body, forget this material world. We are in a different reality. Are dreams illusion? No, scripture says dream is also a reality. It's a reality. Where is this reality existing in this world? No, it is existing in your mind and the objects in your mind which you see in dreams, which you can touch and which you can feel. Uh, people you can actually talk to them and you can feel as if that's a reality that whole reality that whole object is actually conjured up is actually designed and produced and directed by super soul paramatma in a heart that's what is happening in dream uh, madhvachare in vedanta sutra commentary he writes all these in very details the science of dreams chandika upanishad it say it explains dreams in real details in ex uh, uh, very very fine details they're talking about dreams Vedanta Sutra and Chandigya Upanishad and the idea is uh, so, so, uh, so in this world we see these objects like this chair is made of earth, water, fire, air, ether five elements in dreams you also feel there are objects and you feel them you can touch them what kind of elements they are made of five elements no they are made of thoughts that's what scriptures say uh, now how can you make something out of thoughts Vedanta Sutra adds, okay, super soul, Paramatma, God can do anything. If you can make objects and if you can, out of five elements, and if you can make five elements, then why can't he make objects out of thoughts? So a entire dream is made out of our thoughts. And that's reality. That's not, nothing to do with illusion. That's not hallucination. That is reality which mind is perceiving. So we are somewhere else with people, with real objects and those objects, but those all objects and peoples are designed according to our desires. That's the whole difference. Uh, this, this material world, this reality which we are perceiving when we are awake, this, we are, this is designed not according to our desires. It is the way it is. But dreams are specifically designed according to your desires. Whatever you are thinking the entire day, whatever you have been thinking the entire life, what you have been thinking uh, so many lives altogether desires in your desires in your subconscious mind they all mix and match and permutation and combinations and then you have dreams that's why in dreams sometimes you're flying sometimes you're monsters with human faces it's all bizarre anything and everything happens in dreams why because those are our desires and by the way psychologist they are also interested in dreams. Why? Not because to predict some future, but they are interested because dreams help us to find what is happening in our subconscious mind.
what are deep rooted desires because dreams are designed by super soul by observing our not only our conscious desires but our subconscious desires and that's why you see many people often having dreams of for example uh, falling down some phobias or some sexual perversions again and again and again even though they have not encountered any of this phenomena in this present life why now psychologists they say it's subconscious mind hypnotism hypnotism hypnotists are very interested in dreams they they analyze what's happening in your mind uh, and what are your desires from previous lives through your dreams they hypnotize take you back and confirm those things so dreams are basically speculation dreams are basically they are reality first thing they are not illusion don't mistake it they are illusion and they are hallucinations there are some realities happening there and the second is whatever dreams are they are happening they are they are produced and designed by god by super soul in your heart parmatma but the script of that is actually taken and written according to your desires and not according to anybody's desires and not according to desires of god and that's what dreams are so should we take them seriously no of course not don't take them seriously we have so many good desires there so many bad desires there so many nonsense desires all of them mixed together and give us some dreams <laughs> who knows what those dreams are what kind of uh, uh, it's it's all bizarre you know and if sometimes you get some spiritual dreams devotees they get this is spiritual master they see some devotees they see some kirtans okay it's better to have those kind of dreams rather than stupid nonsense crazy lusty dreams it's better than that but don't take them seriously don't take them seriously focus on what you have to do for krishna in this world in this material world when you are awake that's what really counts dreams are yours and they'll also be they'll always be yours nobody is going to see your dreams nobody will understand your dreams it's for you and only for you it will not impact this material world in any way even 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 though you do anything in your dreams nothing is going to happen in this world so that doesn't count anything so so prabhu prabhu said where are the results prabhu said give me real results in this material world which will help people actually so even if you take your dream seriously what's the point of that nothing is going to happen nothing nothing changes you have to take you have to take this material world seriously and do something for god in this world not in the world of your dreams that's why prabhu pas says don't be lost in your dreams in krishna consciousness that's the whole idea uh well uh, before i end this uh, i just want to add here uh, many saints they get dreams that's also recorded and sometimes their dreams are very impactful and they change the entire course of their life and uh, and those dreams are really genuine and revealed from god to them now how do we know that my dream is revealed to me by god or it is just some conjuring or speculation of mind how do we know that it's all mix mix and match of our desires now that if you want to know you have to confirm from some genuine saints you have to confirm from saints of good and good standing that i got this dream is it valid and valuable and should i consider it seriously and take my decisions in my life according to this dream we have to consult maybe not one maybe not two maybe three good uh, advanced souls and then you come to decision because always dreams can always be confusing and always be speculating you can never rely on dreams hari krishna shri ram